Hello everyone, welcome back. I've changed my uh, gear around a little bit. So this is the Z5 with the uh, 28 millimeter f2.8. Excellent lens. Uh, the 35 millimeter with the crop on the Z5 just blew everything up. Uh, I've increased it a little bit on the span. This is what it actually looks like at zero. So this is the full widescreen effect. I think this is a great for uh, streaming. Uh, I like it better than the 35 millimeter because it gives you a bigger head and uh, I like showing off the background and stuff. Uh, with the, uh, then I, of course, if I want a close up, I can go all the way to like right here or even a little bit more if I wanted to. So, I think I fixed the, uh, I did the autofocus area and full-time autofocus so you won't get the breathing. And I think this camera does an excellent job on that. I like the color rendition better on the Z5. Some people disagree with me, but I moved the Z6 too as my review product table view table and uh, it's actually more clear looking at everything I've here and then if I uh, see I, I have it zoomed right now we can see everything if I bring it all the way back to 14 yeah, right here look it's still clear autofocused it's wonderful okay so I can give you a wide shot view earlier tonight I showed off the R5 3600. So, I I think this is the perfect lens right here for product review and wide screen shots. Uh, some people like more, but I can always zoom it in too, especially on the lens, so I can get a close up shot. So I think the 1430 f4. Uh, so if you pay like, uh, what, for the 28 millimeter, 300 bucks, this lens is about a thousand bucks, all right? Two excellent lens lenses. If I go to the ZFC, the 35 millimeter, all right? So this is an expensive, it's a prime lens, F1.8, excellent, and that's on the... Um, yeah, so here's the zoom. You can get a close up shot for the puppy cam. Then, of course, uh, the A6100. I got the best lens on there, the Sigma uh, 56 millimeter f1.4. So, you saw that how that acted earlier. So when I uh, do uh, reviews on the computers, you can see what the screen resolution is on the uh, 4K monitor, or on the TV, I should say. So anyway, um, this is just a quick video on uh, the new lenses. I'm happy with these lenses right now. And uh, it only gets about 12 degrees warmer when I'm running uh, the Mac Mini. Um, it starts at 45, 44 degrees as it's getting warmer on centigrade. Now it's at 57. But still, it outperforms my uh, 2017 iMac with 64 gigs of RAM. And you can hear the fan blowing on that. I love the 5K, but... Uh, I think with the new uh, modular style Macs that are coming out from Apple, I think that's the best thing. It's where you have computer it, uh, by itself and then you have the monitor separate. That way if something breaks down, you just replace that item. So uh, I like it. it uh, I have the Mac Mini 2018 Intel. It's a six-core processor. It's like an i5 
8400 I think but uh, doesn't work for me I have 64 gigs of RAM DDR4 uh, 26.66 megahertz so uh, I got the Blue Yeti microphone um, what can I say uh, so you can see my setup Z62 a6100 of course that's the uh, ZFC and then right there you can't see it but uh, it's my uh, Z62 and it's working out good and if I do all the way this go like that that's a pretty good shot yeah let's, let's get it like this that way you get the camera both all three cameras so that's a side shot and then I can say hi and stuff it's not really pointing at me but the wide part of the angle of the lens it's still sharp now it does stretch that's a pretty long hand Ooh, I can do some effects on this like a, a skeleton a anyway uh, so I got the center pointed like right here at the center of the uh, table so anyway I think that's a good shot and uh, anyway uh, just an update to my followers that uh, my system is uh, getting better and better all the time I think the only two prime lens that I'm looking at right now for an upgrade for the Nikon is the uh, 20 millimeter and the 24 millimeter. Then I have all of the 1.8 primes. I already have the 40 millimeter and 28 millimeter, the two and the 2.8 uh, apertures. The only 2.8 um, zooms that I have are the Tamrons, so they're the 2470 and then the 70 to 200. But uh, I only use them for trips or going outside. And uh, basically, on the inside, um, I'll be using these lens. I've used the kit lens before, but uh, I think the primes work pretty good with even with the APS-C or DX style cameras. So I'm happy with it. Uh, you shouldn't get any focused breathing now. Everything is working great. Fingers crossed. So remember, uh, if you like this video, please give me a like, write a comment. I know Lewis will, Peter will. So, and maybe Scott, yeah, I have to get Scott out of the kitchen. He's always eating something, but, uh, and Peter's always cooking the meal, so makes Scott hang or hungry. And Lewis, with his, uh, what is it, firm pinking on the egg whites, keep at it. You'll get it eventually. So, uh, uh, shout out to all my friends. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye.